Hey guys, welcome to Maternity Monday. It's January the 23rd, I believe. 27 weeks pregnant today. Let's take a look at that belly. I'm home today with my son. He had a fever all weekend. He missed out on his very first hockey tournament, so I'm a little, um, we're pretty bummed out about that, but I, what can you do, I guess? Last week was very difficult. The physio helped and I was really sore, but I could tell that it was helping already. But then coming home late one day after grocery shopping, came in through the basement door, lights were all turned off, and I tripped over a pile of wood and really hurt my pubic bone area kind of down for the count for the remainder of the week. That was on Wednesday, I think. On top of that, I had stopped taking my diclectin in hopes of trying to save money and not be medicated during pregnancy, but that backfired. I spent Tuesday and Wednesday either throwing up or being too sick to eat. So on Wednesday at the midwife's, uh, I had my weigh in. I was 151 pounds, which means that Instead of gaining four pounds between the midwife visits, I actually lost a pound. So I'm back on a full dose of diclectin. And I've actually been eating pretty well, except now I have heartburn again. <laughs> and my pelvis is doing a whole lot better today. Um, this, t today, Monday. Um, I've been resting, I've been doing the physio exercises. I have a chiropractor appointment tomorrow and a physio again next week. So really trying to be proactive because I really want to be more helpful around the house. I'm getting so depressed and so overwhelmed with just feelings of hopelessness and uselessness, worthlessness because I'm not doing much because I can't or I couldn't. Today I did get a good start on um, going through my nursing textbooks and putting them away properly. Little things like that, tidying up the bedroom, things things I wanted, I wanted to do but I can't and I just it really sucks going from a, being a busybody to being a nobody, essentially. Anyway, uh, baby is very active. There's a lot of movement going around. No stretch marks yet. I'm sure they're coming. Diastasis recti of the abdomen, where your abdomen muscles are usually like this, but now they're like this. So I'm kind of relearning how to get up and get down without uh, engaging those muscles because the more you engage them the more separation can occur when the stomach's as big as it is and those muscles have been really hurting lately actually I can almost feel them kind of pulling apart through daily activities so baby is just under two pounds now uh, over 14 inches long supposedly I feel like they are yeah oh and even though I haven't gained any weight my bundle height is still growing appropriately. It's not growing out, I'm still growing upwards it seems. It's certainly going up into my lungs more, into my rib cage. So when I'm sitting like this in this uh, lazy boy recliner, I can feel my stomach pressing up against my ribs quite a lot. I'm slowly getting used to sleeping on my sides, except now I have pain in my hip and my shoulders. Still not a lot of preparation for baby, although I did pick up some free items from a fellow mom in the community here. Some crib bedding, some baby clothing, hats, and a car seat, all of which I'm going to have to clean and then sort through and see what I want to keep and what I want to pass along to the next mom. Still no baby name. My skin's horrible still. It's incredibly dry. It's not usually this dry in the winter. On my back I've got a lovely... It's not even a rash, but it almost is. It's like back knee, but it's not pustular, so it's lesser of two evils, I suppose. I'm very happy to be back on the diet collecting because now I feel like a normal person. Oh, I missed that. I think that's all I want to update on today so comment like subscribe tell me what you're experiencing in your pregnancy if you're pregnant or let me know what you'd like to hear in these updates and I'll do my best to accommodate that I'll see you next time